How's it going everybody? Nintendo Gen 64 is here and welcome to uh, a vlog or shall we call this a mini series of, uh, a series of vlogs? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea. Uh, I, I just thought I'd uh, whip the camera out and start recording because um, uh, the date today is the 15th of uh, December 2020. It's Tuesday night and on Friday, which is uh, basically two days from now or tonight in two days, uh, I'm moving house. I'm moving house. I'm moving out of this uh, this two bedroom apartment that I've been in for the last two years, and I'm moving to uh, a proper house, like a house house. Um, uh, yeah, and it's it's all happening, and and uh, I to be honest, I'm a little um, anxious about the whole thing because there's, there's so much to do, and it's it's all come at very short notice. Um, so I thought I would just record my thoughts and my um, reaction to the whole thing, and and just just go through. Uh, cataloging the events of what's going to happen and what's, what it's going to take to move me out of here and into the new place and just just go through the whole thing you know show the before the during and, and the aftermath uh, because um, yeah I, I kind of want to record this for myself my future self to look back on and, and maybe you guys will find it interesting too maybe if you guys are planning a move or if you've, you've gone through a move recently maybe you can relate with this or I don't know maybe you might find the actual in, you know the situation interesting I have no idea but I have a little bit of anxiety about the whole thing, and I, I think I just it helps to, to get the whole um, thing out on, on video. And I know a lot of my friends have been, um, a few of my friends have been doing sort of uh, mental health videos lately. And it's not that I'm, I'm depressed or I've got any actual, like, you know, mental health issues. It's just I feel uh, if you're anxious about something, it's good to get the whole thing down and get, just express it, you know, just talk freely because... Uh, YouTube's a great platform for that, and um, and yeah, that's what I'm doing. So, uh, a little bit of context. Why why is this interesting, Angus? Why 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 the hell are you telling us about this? People move all the time. Why why are you telling us? Okay, so as you may or may not know, I uh, only moved down to Adelaide, South Australia, which is where I currently am now. Uh, I only moved down here about two years ago. So I lived in Brisbane for the first 24 years of my life, um, and then. Uh, in January 2019, uh, my good friend Crystal Fisher and I uh, did the very, very, very long drive, um, which is about... Um, actually, how about I look it up for you? We made the 21 hour, 49 minute drive, as you can see there. Uh, that's uh, 2,034 kilometers. I, I don't know how many how many miles that is, but that's, that's a heck of a lot of distance. So yes, uh, it was a big move for me. We drove all the way from Queensland uh, to Adelaide in two days, and uh, that was the first time I'd uh, moved into state. I'd lived in Queensland my entire life, and it was a huge deal for me. I was, I was uprooting my entire life to come down uh, to uh, Adelaide. And when I was moving here, I literally, all I brought with me was what I could fit in my car, and... Um, and then, yeah, I, I didn't have a place, I didn't have a, a real job or anything like that. I had like a casual sort of job lined up and nothing super permanent. I had nowhere to live and I was just like, like, you know, living off my savings basically. Just, just, <laughs> I kind of, I know, right? It sounds kind of funny, but believe it or not, it actually was very well planned out. And I, the move wasn't just some random move where I was just picking my life up and, and moving. Anyway, fast forward two years later, a lot's happened to me. I've, I've changed jobs since then. Um... I was only actually down there for about three weeks before I moved into this place, so it didn't take me very long to actually find a place. Um, you know, I, I started uh, working for Riot City Wrestling, which is a, a local wrestling company here, so I'm a bi big wrestling fan, and so that was a pretty big deal to start working for them. Um, through them, I actually met my, my girlfriend, who you may know as Meteora Girl, uh, or Izzy Shaw is her wrestling name, or, or Jess is her, her real name. And so her and I have been dating for about um, a year and a bit now, and we were always kind of talking about, like, you know, at some point we, we liked the idea of moving in together with each other. Uh, but we just had to sort of wait for the timing to be right. And as luck would have it, uh, my lease uh, was due to end in February and her lease also ends in February. And so we were like, oh cool, well in February 2021, um, why don't we move in together? Why don't we look for a place together? And now you may have noticed something. It is currently December 2020, not February 2021. So why the hell am I talking about moving? Um, basically, uh, I've been looking on realestate.com, which is the, the real estate uh, website we use here in Australia, or one of them anyway. And I found a place and I was like, hey, you want to check this out? Uh, so we did an inspection of it. Really liked the place, but I thought there's no way in hell I'm going to get this. There is no way in hell I'm going to get this house. It was a very nice house. It is a very nice house and I'm so glad I got it. But, sorry. When we actually did the inspection, when we walked through the house, there were like, I, I want to say maybe 20 other people there looking at it. And... 
I was just like some 20 something year old guy, guy in his mid twenties. And there were some people there who looked like real people with real jobs. And I was like, oh, oh dear, okay, we have no chance. But you know what, let's apply for it. What the hell, if we don't get it, we don't get it. We've still got a couple months before we're gonna move in together anyway. So I apply for it. And then two days later, I get a phone call. And they tell me, congratulations, you've got the place, it's yours. And I'm, you know, conflicted because at the same time, it's like, I, I would love to have the place, but I would have to break lease here. And I have broke, I've done a break lease in the past and it cost me a lot of money. It was very expensive. Um, I moved from one apartment to another apartment in the same building um, about five years ago. And when I did that, it cost me an arm, arm and a leg to do so. And I was living with my brother at the time and it was a great, you know, he, I was able to save money back up, but it was very expensive to do. So I'm not very hesitant. I, you know, I was very hesitant actually this time to break lease again. Uh, so I was like, oh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? And I, I probably spoke to like half a dozen people about this. I was like, do I, should I do it? Should I do it? And pretty much everyone told me it was a good idea to do it. Um, especially because I only have two months left on the lease in this place. And by the time I break lease, uh, it should only cost me maybe a hundred dollars, maybe something around that, maybe 120, I don't know. Um, so yeah, hopefully it's not too expensive. But the other thing was that um, Jess, she does not have the money to break lease on her place and she's still in there for another two months. Um, so what's gonna happen is uh, I will be moving into the house first. I'll be living there for about uh, a month or so, a month and a half on my own, and then she'll move in. We'll gradually move her stuff in over the, over the course of the month that she's still uh, renting the other place. But yeah, it's gonna be a very, very, very interesting time. Um, this is all happening uh, a week before Christmas as well. So uh, I haven't even paid the bond on the place yet. The bond's like $2,700, so I gotta, gotta pay the bond on it. So at the moment, I'm a, I'm a little bit um, overwhelmed, shall we say. There's just a lot of like stuff coming in and I'm just having to process it all. Like I've had to, I've had to organize the power, I've had to organize the, the internet, the gas, uh, I've had to organize the moving van. Um, cause we, I'm going to do the moving myself. Um, and I'll, I'll hopefully vlog that part of the process where I actually move, um, the, uh, the stuff. Um, but yeah, it's, it's all happening. And, and yeah, like I've been in this place for t uh, almost two years and it was really a means to an end. Like this isn't a great place. I'll actually, I'll take you for a little tour in a second and I'll show you the, the place I'm in at the moment. But yeah, it was really a means to an end. And I feel like if I didn't meet Jess and I didn't have a girlfriend, I could have easily lived here on my own, but it was just, she was staying over more and, and um, I, you know, had her clothes here and some of her stuff here. And it just kind of got to the point where it was like, for a couple, like, I, you know, I, theoretically, I don't think a couple could live here. Like a guy on his own, like me, I can live here. And I can live here if my girlfriend comes over every couple, you know, a couple nights a week. But definitely, I don't think two people could live here for like, um, you know, an extended period of time. Um, and I'll show you. Let's do, a, let's do a little tour. Let's do a little tour, sorry, of what it looks like before the move. Sorry, I'm burping so much because I'm drinking Pepsi Max. Uh, I bought like a 24 pack of these the other day because they were on special for about uh, $14. Uh, so that's pretty good, good economy there, $14 for 24 Pepsi Maxes. Um, but I have to drink them all because I don't want to take them with me. I want an empty fridge by, uh, by Friday. So uh, I have to drink all my Pepsi Maxes by Friday. I don't, I don't really have to, but it's kind of like a little thing I've got going on anyway. So hopefully I don't get too much liver damage from this. Uh, anyway, let's have a look. Let's, let's do a little tour. Let me take a sip of this and we'll do a tour. Mm. Okay, so as you can see, oops, let's get the camera around. Let's get off my ugly face. Um, <laughs> Self-deprecating humor. All right, so this is the bedroom. Look at this. This is a pretty good room, actually. This is, this is where I've got like my, my bed set up, as you can see there actually made for a change. I've gotten in the habit of making my bed a lot recently. Um, and then we've got like a chest of drawers here. Uh, Crystal Fisher let me this. And it's the Young Bucks. Nick and Matt Jackson Young Bucks. Killing the business from backyards to big leagues. Very good read. I'm currently uh, reading this book. And there's my uh, Spyro, uh, uh, what do you call that? Spyro figurine, statue, statuette. Anyway, um, oh yeah, I always have these open. I don't know why. I need to get in the habit of closing these. Ugh. There's too many clothes in there. Anyway, so this is the room. Big room, nice spacious room, uh, as you can see. The only problem is there's no air conditioning or fan in this room, and it gets hot here. It gets really hot. Like, I'm talking in the 30, 30 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. Maybe like 80 degrees Fahrenheit, I don't know. And uh, it gets hot in here, so I've got no real way of cooling myself down. Um, and I thought, 
like last night was really hot and I thought maybe I'll buy a pedestal fan or a, like a mini fan that I can put in the bed. I'm like, why would I do that? I'm moving out in three days. I don't need to do that. Anyway, so that's the room. Then we have the biggest waste of potential ever. I have this room here where I'm currently storing my boxes for the big move. But I have never done anything with this room. I had a, a friend of mine stay here for about three weeks um, and he, he slept in here. He brought, he brought all his stuff over, but then COVID happened and he had to... Uh, he lost his job and had to move back in with his parents. And then he found another place when he got back from his parents. So he moved out. Uh, so this room's just become the storage room. There's not too much going on here. I got the, uh, there's a light box there for filming. And uh, there's a nice uh, AEW action ring there. Uh, you may notice like the light in here. I'm not going to shine the camera because it, it's very, very bright. But it's super low wattage, so nice. Um, and then we have the pathetic bathroom. Oh, what's going on here? It's all yellow in here. Uh, this is this is the bathroom. So tiny. I'm so glad to be getting into a place with a nice bathroom. There's the toilet, yes, and there's the the bathtub. For some reason, and this is something I don't know if it's uh, common everywhere, but in Adelaide, houses have these like two thirds bathtub. I don't know why they just they just do. So there we go. There's the bathtub and the shower. This. There you go. I don't know why you would want to see that, but there it is. Uh, okay. What else we got? I'll come back to the living room in a second. Uh, this is a utility room. I've got a, a trolley in here at the moment. I bought this today. I'm going to use that to actually move some uh, some heavier stuff like the washing machine there. So there's that. Um, and there we go. There's the kitchen. Uh, really, really uh, tiny kitchen space. Like this is this is all I have to cook with. Like this is it. That's all I get. So you can imagine if you're cooking like a big meal or something, it's very hard. Uh, and you'll see later on when we go to the new place, uh, such, such an improvement. Uh, and there's the sink there. And notice the lack of, uh, dishwasher. Yes. And also, no filter water. I, I think in Adelaide, they, they, um, they don't automatically filter your water for you. And so the water that comes out of this tap is, uh, yeah, it's not great. I drink it, but it's, uh, it's very different to what it was in Brisbane. I'll, I'll leave it at that. And uh, there's the uh, electric stove. New place has a gas stove. Like the new kitchen is literally like completely different to this kitchen. Like I actually had to buy, there's no pantry space. I had to buy this thing, which is, is basically where I'm keeping my, my stuff, my pantry. Like I had to buy this and put this here. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with, uh, with this when I move to the new place, because the new place actually has a pantry. And uh, as you can see, there's the start of my, uh, my Empty uh, binge. I've only had three so far. Yeah, you have to separate the um, the uh, recycling here, so I'm just sort of keeping it up there for the time being, uh, and then I'll move it to the recycling bin. Then we have the lounge room, and you've probably seen this on camera many times, and if you watch the ISGP stuff, I've got my Christmas tree up. I just put this tree up, and I'm gonna have to take it down again for when we move. Look at that. Look at that. As I put the AEW title there. Yeah. So there was actually like an inspection on this place, like people coming through to see if they wanted to rent it the other day. And they would have all come in and seen the AEW title built there. Oh well. And I used to have all kind of stuff in here and I, I've, I've, started, I've started to pack stuff down. I've started to put stuff in boxes. Um, but I used to have like a fake plant and some other things there. And there's the internet, there's the NBN. Yes, very nice. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to take all this stuff with me. I'm, I'm going to put this in my office. I've got an office in the new house, so that'll go in the office instead of just sitting out. Like when people walk into my house, they must be like, what the hell is this guy doing? He's got a chair here. He's got two chairs there. But yeah, I, 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 I had this in the spare room actually, but it was just pointless. No one was sitting in it, so there it is there. And, uh, and that had some stuff in it too, but it's empty now. So yeah, there you go. The, the uh, tour, uh, the grand tour. How about... Let's let's just do something. Let's, uh, we'll see if we'll see if you guys are interested in this. Because I'm gonna put this uh, I'm gonna put this up on on YouTube for all my YouTube friends to see. Why don't um why don't you guys uh, why don't you all uh, do a tour of your house or room and uh, and you know let me know share it around. Why don't we do like, a little tag thing and then see if we can have a look at what your setup is? Because my setup at, at the moment like I've been here for two years and my, my setup has never been that great. Um, I guess I always maybe had in the back of my mind that I was moving and I just decided um, to never really uh, do that much because I've, I've never had stuff on the walls, I've never been that, I'm a bit of a minimalist anyway, but I've never had really any paintings on the walls or any, anything displaying like that. Uh, I haven't really had the space to, the space, I mean this looks spacious, it looks spacious, but it's not that big. Uh, I mean this room is big, but 
it's a bedroom. You don't have people hanging out in your bedroom. Um, and the, and then that room, the, the room I'm pointing to, the uh, room we were just in the lounge room, um, it's, it's okay, it's a decent size, but the configuration is very limited because this house was built in the 70s, um, so you really only have like certain options of where you can put things because there's hardly any power points in the house. That's another thing, there's hardly any power points here. That, the only power point in this room is over there behind the bed. So I've had to run an extension cable from over there to, to here. And there's no um, ethernet port in here either, so I've just got my uh, wireless uh, connection going here. Um, the actual ethernet port is in the other room. Uh, actually, no, there's no ethernet port there. There's uh, just a phone and a, and a um, what do you call it, like a, a cable, like a coaxial cable. Anyway, whatever. That's it. That's the, the pre-move uh, stuff. Um, so everything's sort of uh, in limbo at the moment. Uh, when we get into the, the, the real meat and potatoes of the move, I'll, um, I'll bring you back out and I'll show you that. But uh, for now, uh, Nintendo Gen 64 saying farewell for now, but not forever. And I'll see you guys later.